So, what I'm doing here is highlighting the pieces of audio that I want and pressing Shift S to split them. It makes it easier working from the end of the track to the start so that you can delete the bits of audio you don't need as you go along. Now we're left with the four bits of audio that we want to keep. Highlight them all, then go to File, Batch File, slash Item Converter. Choose a destination where you will save your audio files. Now we're going to choose what to name the files. I'll keep it simple and use the item number wildcard. Now click on Add and add selected media items. You'll see there's 01.wav, 02.wav, etc. Click Convert All and this will save all your audio files. This is the script we've been working from. You can see the client wants very specific names for each of the files. Highlight it all and copy it. Paste the script into Notepad++ or something similar. We're going to get rid of the script. Click Macro, Start Recording. For this macro, we press End, then hold Shift, press Down twice, Delete, then the right arrow key. Click Stop Recording. You'll have to make your own depending on the format of your script. Press Ctrl Shift P to play back your macro. Now highlight all the text that's left and copy it. We have four audio files numbered 01 to 04. We want to put these numbers into a spreadsheet. You might have to format the cells to show the zeros. Click the bottom right corner of the cell and drag until you get to 04. Now we want to paste our file names we copied earlier from Notepad. Paste them into column B. Go to File, Save As, and save it as a CSV file. Go back to Notepad++ and open the CSV file you just saved. Now we're going to record a new macro. Click on Macro, Start Recording. Type REN, short for rename, space, control right arrow, type .wav, press the delete key to remove the comma, end, type .wav again, then press the right arrow. Go to Macro, Stop Recording. We can use the shortcut Control shift p to apply the macro to all the other lines. Go to File, Save As. Delete the CSV extension and replace it with BAT. Make sure it's in the same folder as your audio files. Open the folder where your audio files are and double click the batch file. This will rename all your audio files to exactly what the client wants. On four files, it might not be worth doing this, but if you have 50 audio files, this is going to save you loads of time.